what would you say to people considering uh, getting involved with this or those that are a little bit hesitant in it? Um, what would you just tell people and encourage them with? Well, look, you, you, you don't have to go to Inspiration 4's website and, um, and, uh, and make a donation um, uh, and want to go to space. You, you can also just make a donation to support what is a really important cause. I mean, I think that's what the best part about Inspiration 4 is. Uh, why we named it Inspiration for is we're trying to inspire, you know, the world as to infinite number of possibilities, what we can do up in space for sure, but also what we can accomplish down here on Earth. I mean, you, you look at the crew members, uh, the, the crew member who op, uh, occupy the seat of hope, um, you know, uh, she's a great individual and I hope she inspires a lot of people as to some of life's um, most unfortunate, um, you know, situations like childhood cancer and that you can beat it and that you can go on and, uh, and you can make a difference in other people's lives as a healthcare worker, right? That's, um, that's a way, you know, that, that's, that's an inspiring message that I think people can, can certainly relate to. But you're also gonna have uh, an everyday person, you know, who just makes a donation and again, 30 days from now will get fitted in a spacesuit. And then you have somebody else who maybe was on the, the fence about whether or not they wanted to start a business. Um, and Inspiration4 gave them that, that last bit of courage to go on and, and create a, a website and tell the world about it and they could wind up uh, going to space. But I, I suspect there's gonna be a pretty big audience that's gonna pay attention to the four crew members uh, of Inspiration4 and, and hopefully they're inspired to do all sorts of interesting things in life and they just it just doesn't have to always be out in space.